Hello, Shumai, Croeso i Dospeth Celf Gada Oriel Martin Gallery. Hello and welcome to Art Class with Oriel Martin Gallery. This week we're going to be making kites. Here's one that I made yesterday um, and I will put a little film of us flying it, uh, me flying it with my children, in the comments. So you can see what it's like when it's flying. This is a kite that's made a lot in Southeast Asia. And it's very simple and it's made out of a carrier bag. So you need to take a carrier bag and cut around the edge. So you just have one half of a carrier bag. And I've done this already here. This is quite a long, this was quite a long carrier bag, which is good. The first thing you need to do is fold it in half, sort of lengthwise, like that. And then you need to create that diamond shape. So to do that, fold your top corner in like that, and then fold it over again okay and you need to draw a line with a pen that works on plastic that draws on plastic you need to draw a line down there and then fold it over fold that point over on the other side and draw a line again. Quite hard to do this neatly, sort of upside down. Um, I'm sure you'll make a better job of it than me. Um, what you should be left with is uh, a sort of V shape like that. And then you'll have some little folds now in your plastic where you can fold it in like that at the top. So you have your V shape at the top and you're going to cut along there and along there. So I'm just going to do that quickly now. And you should have a diamond shape at the top. And then this piece at the bottom, you're going to fringe. So fold it in half lengthwise again, like that. And you're going to cut in from the bottom. I'm holding it upside down. You're going to cut in all the way along like this. Just trying to do this so that you can see what I'm doing. You cut this, you cut these fringes in all the way along. Very hard to do this so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, but basically you want to cut these fringes all the way in, but they need to stop at this V shape here. Okay, so I'm going to just do this very quickly. Um, so that you can see what I mean. It's very easy to cut through plastic bags like this. You can almost just run your scissors along. So while I do this, I'm going to talk to you about uh, kite line. So um, string, ordinary string is much too heavy to use to fly a kite. And some people use fishing line, but it's not very nice to use. It can be quite dangerous if it gets snagged on you. It can hurt you. So there is something called braided fish line, which you can buy online quite easily. And that is really good for flying kites. And the other thing that's great is crochet, cotton for crocheting. Uh, you need number 20 or number 30. It's some, sometimes called cordonnet crochet cotton so those are things I will put in the comments um, I will put details of those things 
because uh, that's quite hard to remember. So now you have your fringe and you can put your sticks on. So you need two sticks. I'm using basket withy. Um, but you can use any kind of very light weight stick, a bit of uh, bamboo cane, for instance. And you need one stick going down the middle like that. That's the first one you put on. And I'm sticking that on with uh, this silver duct tape or sometimes people call this gaffer tape. So stick that down the middle of your kite and then you'll have another piece so you have another stick that goes from corner to corner and kind of curves up in the middle so I can just show you like that okay we're gonna I'm gonna stick that on quickly I'm doing this all very quickly you can take much much longer and uh, over yours and get a better result but I'm just doing it quickly so that I can show you how to do it. So you can stick that stick at either end and then a bit of tape in the middle there where the two sticks cross over. Okay, next we're going to put on something called the bridle. So this is this bit of thread, you can probably hardly see it there, but there's a bit of thread that um, goes from the top and is attached to the top and the bottom of your kite. I'm just going to show you how to put that on. That's a really important bit. Um, so I've got some of this braided uh, fish line here. It's very, very strong. And I've put a needle through it and see that. And I'm going to just sort of sew it on. So I'm going to put one end on where the two sticks cross over. I'm just going to tie a knot there. Making kites and flying kites is a great way to learn knots. It's very useful if you know quite a few good knots. Um, and I will put, I can put the names of the knots that you need to know in the comments so you can practice your knots. Being able to tie good knots is a very, very useful skill for all sorts of arts activities. OK, so the other part of your bridle needs to be attached about between five and ten centimetres from the bottom. Now, this kite is, dare I say it, a little bit foolproof. I've attached the bridle onto the silver side of this kite, so the underside, but it really doesn't matter um, which side you attach it to. I'll just show you what I mean now. So this bag is sort of white and orange on one side and silver on the other, and I've attached it to this silver side where... Um, the sticks are but it doesn't matter it will just fly that way up so this one that I flew yesterday I attached it to the um, white and orange side and you can see that I've made this bridle you might be able to notice that I've made this bridle a lot longer again it doesn't really matter with this kite with some kites it's important so there we go that kite is more or less finished and you just have to attach it I've got this lovely kite string and holder which was from a lovely fair trade kite that I bought in Newcastle Emlyn um, so you can attach that kite string onto your bridle tie that on and you're ready to go if you want you can make um, they're called reels or winders out of card what I would do so that's this 
I've got this wooden one, but you can make them out of card. I would cut out a few and then layer them up with some white glue, some PVA, so that they're thick and hard and a bit stronger. Because kites, when they're high up and it's really windy, they can pull really, really hard. When I was a, a kid and I had kites, I remember having plastic uh, winders and they would sort of distort out of shape with the, the force of the wind. So um, I will put some comments with some more sort of technical details under the film and um, have fun making and flying your kites.